most men who have gone through loss are looking for how do I go about finding the new love? How do I go about finding someone to replace, in theory, my late spouse? Now people have the right to communicate what their boundaries are with regard to topics that are hard for them. And openly people have the right to protect people who are gentle and a little naive about what happened to them, meaning in terms of how things were handled or it was so long ago that they would forget and screw it up. But in life, when you're looking for the next spouse, the next significant other, the next player, the next lover, we make decisions cognitively about what that is. What I'm always interested in first is how a woman's brain works. I can blame that on my father who taught me what a gentleman was, or I can blame that on my mother who is full of wisdom and sometimes little funny ditties. But what I know about most men is they're going to go after, as you know, the thing that remind, ri reminds with ditties. But in my life, as I matured and as I seasoned and as I aged and as I learned to teach people of all ages, what I'm looking for is a woman who's smarter than me to a point in different areas than me so that I can learn from her. And what I'm after is someone who can help me to streamline some of the things that I've been learning from God's house. I have a great friend named Claudia who used to work in the military and has serious gifts of that Lord's house. But she doesn't put herself and align herself in any religion or church, and she really can read you to the floor because she has that metallic taste that comes in her mouth and then, boom, she gets the instant information and prophetic gift of the Lord. She's had it all her life, and I am so blessed to call her amongst my friends throughout my life. But she is not a prospect for my wife. <clears throat> for several reasons, she's not the right sign on the zodiac, and for another reason is that she's interested in fun all the time. My interest in a woman is almost always her level of not only seriousness, but playfulness. And the woman that I love the most, the two that are most on my mind this time, are interesting because they have wit and wisdom of the Lord's house. 